Aircraft carriers are floating pieces of American sovereignty, armed to the teeth and answerable only to the president. If AU-2 could be launched and recovered from an aircraft carrier, U-2s could reach most of the globe without having to negotiate the political complexities of housing spy planes on foreign soil. For this reason, several U-2s were modified for carrier operations. The long slender wings had to be strengthened for harder carrier landings, and spoilers had to be fitted to the back of the wings to help the plane slow down and reduce the required runway landing distance. A hook arrestor had to be fitted to the U-2's fuselage so the plane could catch the arresting gear as well. Additionally, U-2 pilots had to be retrained for the complex carrier landing maneuvers. After seven months, the resulting plane was the U-2G, and with modifications complete, U-2s were ready to be launched from the sea.